Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to take a look at a 2019 Grand Design Reflection Model number 290BH. It's got bunks in the back in a separate room, a big living space with an awesome kitchen countertop, a separate bedroom weighing around 8,500 pounds or so. And don't forget, it's got that outside kitchen too. This is that secondhand sugar, and I'm here with my friend. That Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hannemeyer on the camera today. Say hello, Brendan. What's going on, happy campers? Future campers and fellow salespeople, thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. If you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, we'd appreciate that. We're also on Instagram, TikTok, and we're on Facebook producing some sweet reels, so maybe check those out as well. Enjoy this awesome trail. Right on, Brendan. Good looking front fiberglass cap. This portion's not painted, but you can still you can see it still looks good. You know, three four years later, the decals look good as well. Yeah, the maroon still looks bright. Yeah, like the, the 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 color's deep. You're right, brother. Uh, we got that turning point uh, hitch in through here, which basically means you can hook up to this with a six and a half foot box or a five and a half foot box and not get a sliding hitch in your truck. Rougher style storage in through there. That's also where the battery and box is. We've got our Furion charge spot right here, so you can hook up a panel, plug it in here, it's gonna charge your battery for you. We have our electric front jacks, 30 pumper paint tanks, pass-through storage right in through here. I should say this clear though, Brendan, we have a 30 pumper paint tank on either side, pass-through storage, convenience center where our gate valves are, city water connection, fresh water fill, black water flush kit, and then you got your winterizing, your sanitizing, all that stuff down through there too. Outside shower, cable satellite inlet with an outside receptacle, six gallon gas electric water heater, furnace vent right through there. And then our main sewer dump is there. Right here is our rack and pinion style slide. Rack and pinion, baby. Thank you, brother. Pull our U-shaped dinette and our gas electric fridge off. And then we've got our secondary sewer drain here for our kitchen at the back-ish. 50 amp detachable style cord, class three receiver with four way wiring, a roof ladder. I want you to get up on the roof and check your seals every 90 days. And as we come down the door side here, you can see the rear jacks, our manual three quarter inch drive, nice storage piece in through here underneath the bunk, outside spray port, two cubic foot electric fridge, two burner stove top, looking, well, it looks like they used the right one a little bit, but they didn't use the left one. Maybe they were left handed, you know what I mean, Brennan? Maybe. We'll never know. We got 15 inch tires, aluminum rims, the Dexter suspension, and then our electric awning starts here, goes all the way forward. Yeah, the lights look pretty good in through there. We have our kitchen window, our lend a hand grab handle, three step, aluminum tread steps up and in, friction door hinge. And then right here is just the other side of our pass through storage. Nice and clean in through here. There's also battery disconnect with our aluminum framing for the floor. Let's go have a look inside. Right on folks, we're inside that 290BH reflection here. You're standing at the front door, looking into our kitchen, into our living space here with our main slide, or our only slide. We got a U-shaped dinette in through here. You can turn this down into a secondary bed. We got covered space here underneath both sides of the bed. You know what, Brent, let's take a step back here. This is a very, very clean bunk model fifth wheel. It's fresh. You know what I mean? Like. A lot of times bunk models, they get a little bit more worn because you got kids running through them and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, very, very nice in through here. Eight cubic foot gas electric fridge. And then across from our main slide, we're getting into our kitchen now. We got the uh, extension here for the countertop. There's an undermount steel sink with our sink cover. That doesn't even look like it's ever been cut on. That's pretty slick. And we got a pull out faucet, receptacle in through there, kitchen windows down the door side. And then our TV is right here. This is across from our U-shape, but if you want to kind of bring it out and have it face the uh, the couch, you can. And then we're gonna have some small storage here on either side of the TV. You know, great counter space. Six drawers here. Got the original manuals. Love to see that. Six drawers in through there. We have our glass stove top cover on top of our three burner stove top. Blue lights on the knobs. Oven down below. A little bit deeper oven than we're used to seeing. Covered space here, great space for garbage cans slash recycling. And then looking up into our kitchen, past the TV, we got our microwave, our range hood, some overhead storage here, nice kind of accent lights here, built into our uppers as well. You gotta look closely, Brandon, but this is probably the only piece of wear I've really seen on the interior of this guy. Uh, can you even see that in the camera? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. 
In the bunk room, we have our built-in ladder. Comes in and out nice and slick like so. We've got a big bunk here at the back. We've got a uh, shorter bunk here or the longer bunk that goes across the full width of the trailer. Looking down, we've got a bunch of drawers and storage in through here. Sorry, that was a little aggressive. Look at all this open storage there. We got four windows in our bunk room alone, a whole lot of lights, and there is a door separating off this bunk room from the rest of the trailer. And then looking forward again, we have our uh, trifold style sofa in through here. It's gonna pull out lengthwise. You got two people here sleeping. Uh, if they're in love, nice window to the right of it. A mirror, I can just check out the pants. No uh, no big deal, Brennan, but... Uh, watermelon socks. Watermelon socks, but they match the shirt, brother. Ooh. We kind of coordinated all, everything today. There we go, receptacle. <clears throat> and then up into the bathroom, bedroom area. And this is clean, Brennan. Look at this thing. We got a porcelain style toilet. The dump truck definitely fits. Towel bar right through here. And then across from there, smaller drawers, three of them. A bigger cupboard there. Stainless steel sink and then double medicine cabinet here. And then behind me, we're gonna have that same kind of double medicine cabinet. Second verse, same as the first. Into the shower here. I'm six feet tall. You can see I fit in the shower quite easily. It's got that Nautilus style door. People ask me, how does it hold up, Brandon? It holds up great. Great stuff. And then coming out of the bathroom into the bedroom here, we've got the backbreaker special for the mattress. Basically, the previous customer took the mattress over to their next trailer. We understand, we'll get you a fresh mattress in here. Covers on either side, lights on either side. Cupboards across the top, and then a huge window over here on this side, Brennan. And then you know, a smaller window here, but then check, take a look at this wardrobe space. It's fantastic stuff. There is a motion sensor right in through there, and then three drawers in there. That's the video, folks. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below, and then have yourself a good day.